Okay, <clears throat> so I've uh, finished my first day with Data ABC. I had my first uh, session of classes. Um, how the day was supposed to go, for me, I'm in Eastern, Eastern time zone, so my classes, I was supposed to have three hours from 5 a.m. till 8 a.m. Uh, because it was my first day, they weren't all booked, so I actually didn't have my first class till 7, but you still have to be in front of the computer, nothing else going on other than data during your contract hours. My contract hours were from 5 till 8, so from 5 till 7, I was just logged into the uh, data interface sitting in on other teachers' classes, and that is a good thing to do, I discovered. Um, being a new teacher, that really gave me, it was, it was valuable watching other teachers do their thing. Uh, I learned a few do, new lessons that I can incorporate. I uh, learned a few new games. I got to see how the teachers interacted with the students, how they uh, held their own bodies, how they conducted themselves. Um, then seven o'clock came around. My first class was actually a trial class with a little girl, a nine-year-old girl, who I'd never done it before either. And so she kept walking around her house with her webcam on. So it was really more of a tour of her house than anything else. I don't know well, how much she got out of the lesson, but, you know, we, uh, we, we did. Uh, we did. We tried. And um, she uh, had some good vocabulary, some not. If you're worried about... Uh, running into kids who have no English, um, it's a valid worry because they are out there. My second student was a four-year-old and he had no English at all. But um, being four years old, he reacted really, really well to you know, the props, the fun little puppets. Um, a is for apple, B for banana. This is where I understand when it was dealing with this four-year-old, this is where I really got to appreciate the whole have props around, have props. Um, I'm lucky enough to, to have a young son in the house, so I've got a lot of his stuff. I went out to the dollar store, spent a few more dollars on a few more things, but uh, you don't need a vast array of anything. Like everything that, that uh, I could have used was kind of at my fingertips, and I don't have a lot. If you want to see what I have, sorry for the jerky camera for a second here, I'll show you. There. This is my desk. There's mouse, wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, little notepad, because you will have to evaluate the students at the end and uh, give them an idea what they did. But yeah, that's it. Just a couple of stuffies, a couple of finger puppets. Didn't use this. There's my <laughs> cup of water. Um, and some plastic animals, like f really basic stuff for the first day, and it was sufficient. It was good. Uh, so back to me. Um, my third class came in right at the end. I thought after my second uh, trial class, my second 14-minute class, I thought that was me done. And as I was saying goodbye to that kid, I got a notification that I had a 30-minute class booked right after, and I had not seen the material. I didn't even know how old this kid was going in. I had to just hop from one class to the next. Um, I was lucky. He was an older kid, and uh, he had great command of English. We, uh, we went through the course material, not a lot of games. Uh, I didn't have to bring out the uh, props at all. We, he, was, he was like sitting with a great kid, and uh, he was very attentive, very participating. So what can I tell you about the first day? Um, there are worse ways to wake up, I can tell you that much. There are worse jobs to go to at five o'clock in the morning. Um, it was great. I really, really enjoyed it. And I hope the kids enjoyed it. And I hope uh, Dada enjoyed it. I, I hope they're happy with my performance today. Um, I have to now go write evaluations for the for the kids, for the three kids. Um, it shouldn't take any more than five minutes a piece. It's pretty short. Then you just submit those and you're done for until tomorrow morning, until the next day. Um, so listen, honestly, if you've got butterflies, if you've got all that stuff, if you've got nervousness, like I had, completely understandable, but um, 
you'll get through it. It's it's you're playing with kids. The course material is right there. You just need to sort of follow along, but expand on it. Have fun with it. Um, make the kids laugh. Uh, try to keep their attention. And if it's just not happening, it's just not happening. You do your best, and uh, and and from what I've seen today, it works out. I'll uh, do another video like this at the end of my first week and see if I feel the same. Until then, uh, thank you for the, uh, listening and thank Data for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. Have a good day.